Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. And mowers and blowers. <laughs> Good evening. That's right. It's about seven o'clock at night. And uh, why am I going out at seven o'clock at night? Uh, I usually don't. You know what I mean? But I just got a text message from Andy the Brit's wife's brother. He lives in the area. And so he lets me know whenever he sees something interesting. So, uh, he told me that there is a MTD yard machines. I've had like a hundred of them. Push mower, red, no bagger, big rear wheel with the Briggs 550 EX engine. The EX engine is an auto choke. In my experience, these mowers actually, <laughs> They cut very well. It's a little ways from here, uh, not exactly in my town, but it is about a five or seven minute drive, which I'm willing to do, uh, given because I like this engine and I like this mower, you know? And I know I could probably easily get it going because I, those engines are pretty easy to work on. Anyway, I'm on my way. We'll see what we find. Oh, for goodness sakes. It's the guy's mower. <laughs> Crazy. What a waste of time. Just got this in the mail. It's from my friend John over at Turning Wrenches 85. That's his new logo. Looks pretty cool. Thanks, John. Of course, now I'm going to put you on my Mowers and Blowers Wall of Fame. I'm going to put you right here next to Slippers and above Ellis Mowers. Go check out John Pruss from Madison, uh, Madison, Tennessee over at Turning Wrenches 85 on YouTube. Thanks again, John. Welcome to the club. So I'm going to walk away from this piece of junk for a while. I've just about had it up to here. <laughs> with uh, trying to get an engine for this damn thing. Cold Courage, I have a feeling I have to just hold on to that engine because it does run, right? I just need a, probably a new head, which by the way, I thought I had a new head. <laughs> I sold it for 50 bucks, so I don't have a new head. Um, but the big problem is the three cracks in that block. So even though I know the innards are good because it runs, you know what I mean? Uh, but it just leaks, you know, and with the vibration, the heat in the future, I couldn't in good conscience actually sell this with that engine in there, you know, even if it did run, you know, totally correctly. And I, I have to just wait for another Kohler Courage someday, and I know I'll get one. But in the meantime, it's over there. This Kohler Command, it just pops and backfires. I don't know why, so. I'm going to walk away from it for a while and do some push mowers, get it out of the way. This is a Poulon with a Polar XT675 engine on it. It's just a push mower. It's on the same Craftsman AYP type product platform. I may even have a bag for it. I got it for free from my friend Mike from Mike's Lawn Service Babylon. And he gave it to me in exchange for the repairs that I did on his Toro Recycler and that uh, wood chipper shredder that I fixed for him. Um, I like these engines, believe it or not. Um, and so we, last episode when we just tested it, I uh, blew some, hmm, that choke flap is closed pretty well, won't even open. Anyway, the lever was jammed on the uh, thermostat right on top of the muffler. So now as you can see, the choke opens. Got some debris there, dirty. So I'm blowing some uh, fuel right through the intake manifold. So if it has spark, it will start. It's an auto choke. Hello. But it won't start from just pulling means the carburetor is probably dirty. So we're going to take the carburetor off and just check it out. 
So we have it propped up here on its uh, side a little bit. Ten, two 10 millimeter bolts, nuts that come off. This cover just comes right off. We'll uh, you can let this hang or you can take it off, whatever. It just slips right off, just like that. Gonna take the uh, fuel line off. But actually, you know what? It could just be uh, quick and dirty that we need to do. So I'm just going to take the um, bowl off and check out what the innards look like. Not too bad, actually. You know? I mean, it's very rusty and corroded in the bowl. But uh, not a whole lot of debris in there or gum, you know? You know what? I'm going to take it off because look, look at all that um, rust in there. I'm going to have to clean it out pretty well. So I removed the fuel line, have it sticking just there. I'll have to drain out some of the fuel and check out the condition of the fuel. It could be, you know, filled with water or something like that and that won't work. So I'm just going to remove the uh, throttle linkage and the little small tension wire. has always been kind of difficult to do without removing this because you can't you know what I mean you like can't pull it out to make it turn on the z-bend so it's kind of it's kind of tricky I, I've had to remove that thing over there to get this off you know because it's it's a bent linkage right here for the choke so you can't like twist it because it's on these uh, studs can't pull it out you know it's kind of a pain I've been grinding the bottom part with the screwdriver I think I might just do a quick and dirty because I it's a pain to take that uh, carburetor off and I flipped it on its side and took a look at it. it's not bad just blow some carb cleaner through it clean this bowl this is the easy way to clean a bowl but uh, you have stuff on the bottom there so you can't really get to it you have to use like a toothbrush or wired bristle brush to get the bottom parts off. To get the very bottom out, put your finger covering the hole. Use carb spray. Old toothbrush. Agitate. Pretty good. Just gonna blow out this carburetor. Blow up the emulsion tube. See if that works. Okay, we did a quick and dirty. And of course, there was so much uh, gas and carb spray all around here on the rag that was saturated. So I just used the rag and wiped it down. Not this side, but over here. It looks pretty good. Uh, put the bowl back on and uh, fuel line. And it does not seem to be leaking. <laughs> it's a miracle. 
So let's see if a quick and dirty worked. What do you guys think? Is it gonna work? I think it might work. Almost. that was with these engines right the uh the kill is the semi-metallic brake pad on the flywheel and so this hasn't been run in a long time so some stuff builds up on the brake pad and what happened was i released the bail handle brake is touching the flywheel and it wouldn't stop because it had like some debris on the brake pad so after a few revolutions of it rubbing it off the semi-metallic brake pad was cleaned now makes contact with the flywheel and stopped. There you go. Perfect. Uh, it's got some ass gas in here. Uh, I'm gonna put some fuel treatment in there, maybe some fresh gas. Yeah, it looks kind of yucky. And uh, maybe I'll go over my lawn with it, you know? Just wiped it down a bit and uh, do some super clean and a blast of some water. Gonna put some Tum W30. That's what Polar recommends for its engines. I don't know about the little ones, but close enough. Can I just top off the Earl a little bit? It was a little low. So as you can see, shined it up, looks great. Uh, I actually had a bagger for it from another Craftsman, like I said. It's an AYP product, same deck as some Craftsman push mowers. So fits on there just fine, yes, it doesn't match. Pull on with the Craftsman bagger, but whatever, it's got a bagger, you know what I mean? I'll probably uh, try to sell this for $135, take as low as uh, $100 this time of season. Maybe I'll just keep it until next spring and get $150 for it, you know, when people really need it. Anyway, I'm going to mow my lawn with it. Let's hope it fires up after that wash. Uh, I put some fresh fuel in there and some fuel treatment. Sometimes a fuel treatment is kind of hinky, you know what I mean? Just not sure. See what I mean? for a bit.
Yeah, oh boy. As you can see, a little bit of fuel treatment that I put in there and some fresh gas. After running it for about two or three minutes, started mowing, not a hiccup. Ran great, ran smooth, cuts very well. I did the uh, horizontal lines today. Got to alternate patterns on your lawn so they stick straight up. Uh, as you can see, it's now dirty again, but as long as I got pictures for the listing, when it was nice and clean, whatever happens between now and a bite and selling it, <laughs> out the window. Uh, anyway, easy, easy job today. I wish all my episodes were so easy, you know what I mean? Uh, spending nine or ten episodes on that damn tractor, which is still in my garage, you know, but uh, getting away from it all and change of pace doing a push mower for a change. Got a bagger for this. It's a good deal. Uh, I like the engines. <laughs> I think the colors sound good and easy to pull, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, that's that. Quick and dirty carburetor to clean on this. Added some oil, washed it down, pounded out the dust off the uh, air cleaner. And that's it. This thing's fine. Ready to go. Some uh, fuel treatment and some new gas. Mowed my lawn with it. Fantastic. This is a $125 bill come next spring. Maybe a hundred bucks now. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.